Binary watch. Consider a binary watch. It has four LEDs at the top representing the hours 8, 4, 2, and 1. And it has six LEDs at the bottom representing the following minutes 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. For example, in order for the watch to display the time 451, it needs the LED for the hour 4 to be turned on, and it needs the LED for the minutes 32, 16, 2, and 1 to be turned on. Now let's continue to the problem. We are given an integer turned on, which represents the number of LEDs currently on, and we want to return all possible times the watch could represent with that amount of LEDs turned on. For example, let's go back and consider the binary watch. If just one LED is turned on, it could be the first minute, it could also be the second minute, or even the fourth minute, and so on. Not only for the minutes, but also the hours, exactly one LED could be turned on. And so at the end, we return a list of all the possible times the watch could represent. We will solve this in constant time. The key to solving this problem is noticing that the LEDs given for the hours and minutes are powers of 2. And consider the binary representation of these numbers. Notice, the binary representation of a power of 2 only has one bit set. And so the number of bits set will correlate to the number of LEDs needed to be turned on in order to produce a time. For example, let's go back to the example earlier, 451. It needed a total of 5 LEDs to be turned on in order to produce this time. Similarly, if we were to count the number of set bits in the binary representation for the hour, and add that to the total number of set bits for the minutes, the total number of set bits would equate to the total number of LEDs being turned on, in this case, 5. So the idea is to iterate through all the possible hours in the range 0 to 12, and have an inner loop to iterate through all the possible minutes in the range 0 to 60, and calculating the total number of bits that are set by taking the hour bits and adding it to the minute bits. And if the total number of bits that are set are equal to turned on, and so we could produce the specific time with the number of LEDs, so we add it to result. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.